just a warning. I'm not sure what this is going to be like. I could be on a rant this morning. Hey, good Thursday morning, everybody. It's the uh, 19th of January. Uh, Thursday again. It's theoretically, I have a day off tomorrow. We'll give it a try. Uh, our Gospel Day is from Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. Uh, this morning, as I read this Gospel, right before I read it, um, I said, Jesus, I really need some wisdom today. And the reason is... Uh, here might be the random part. Um, I, you know, I got one, of the, every once in a while we get one of these emails, I get one of these emails, you know, a person um, demanding things, up in arms about things and attitude uh, that just, just is hurtful. Uh, it's hurtful for people, hurtful for the church. Uh, really, it demonstrates really a lack of I think of charity, understanding, wisdom in that person's heart. Uh, and then I get this gospel. And it's like, you go, Jesus. You know, here's what Jesus doing, you know. It's this, this woman perceived as a sinner. Yep. Of course, question someone asked long, long, long time goes, how did this so-called woman sinner get into this Pharisee's house? Okay, so he must have known her. Uh, but, what, you know, this brilliant thing that Jesus says, he's here for all people. And those most need of him love him most, uh, experience the depth of him most. And, and I, I just love it because it restores my faith. You know, people, I, I think, I don't know where they come from. And I think my own life, you know, where does this come from? This sort of this, uh, this fear, this absolutism. I think, I don't, I don't know where this attitude comes from. Uh, sometimes... You know, people think that the church has to be only for the saints. The only those who have committed no sins have nothing bad happened in their life. Uh, but then a church would be empty. Um, certainly I wouldn't be there. Uh, anybody who claims that they would belong are lying, so therefore they don't belong. No, the church, the community is, is for all of us and for everyone who's hurting, those who are looking for wisdom, those who are looking for a way to appreciate um, it's for those who have been told that they are worthless. And God says, no, you have value. You're worth your child of God. Um, so I think the next time any of us get our dander up about who's there, who's doing what, um, we ought to sit back and think on the gospel and what it's all about. Because, um, again, it, it, it's it's... There's a beauty here. There's a wisdom here. Uh, there's an openness here. It says, you know, that the heaven is open. The earth is, is open for all people, not just a select few. And uh, I guess I guess that ends my so-called rant. Uh, I didn't yell, at least. Didn't need any names. Yay! But it, it, the challenge will always be for me as well, is how do I how do I promote that? And I will always promote that. That God is... God has open doors. We will always have an open doors. I will always have, almost, I will always try to have an open mind. Um, sometimes it's the self-righteous people that make me close my mind, but even them I have to be open to because those persons are also hurting in a different way. All right, guys, hopefully that makes sense. I will see you back here on Monday. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you at Snows on the weekend. Enjoy. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of retreat this evening and tomorrow just to kind of breathe a little bit. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.